alaikum and welcome back to another episode from our Animals in the Quran series. Today we'll be talking about the ants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this tiny creature in the Quran and even named a surah after it called Surah al Are you ready to dive into the amazing world of ants? Did you know that there are so many ants on earth that for every single human being, there are 2.5 million ants. That's like 20 quadrillion. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know what that number means. But not only are there so many ants, but there are also so many species. You have so many different kinds like the acrobat ants, the red ants, the crazy yellow ants, the wood ants, the fire ants, the ghost ants, and the list goes on and on. There's no way I could even begin to mention all of them because there are so many different kinds. Do you want to try to guess how many? I'll bet you didn't guess it would be this much. There are over 12,000 different species of ants. SubhanAllah. Did you know that despite their small size, ants are super strong? An ant can carry an object that's 30 to 50 times its own body weight. That means that if you were as strong as an ant, you'd be able to carry an SUV with no problem at all. Did you know that ants can join their arms together to create a living raft out of their own bodies? They do this to protect their leader and to save themselves from drowning during floods. They just hang on to each other and float away. And if the ants want to cross over a broken path, all they have to do is hold hands, creating bridges out of their bodies and allowing one ant at a time to cross over to the other side. Now do you see why we can learn so much from this amazing ant? Look what they can do just through teamwork. Did you know that ant tunnels bring air into the soil and allow water and nutrients to flow to the plant roots, helping them grow? And did you know that ant poop changes the chemistry of the soil for the better? This is why you can thank the ants for that beautiful garden that you have in your backyard. Did you know that ants are the decomposers of the earth? This means that they eat all the organic waste left behind like dead animals. Basically, it means they help keep the environment clean. So I like to think of ants kind of like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's natural vacuum. Did you know that out of all the animals and insects on earth, the ant is the one that has the lifestyle closest to humans? Ants have the most complex, highly organized societies in the animal kingdom. They're called colonies. At the surface, all you see is a small ant hill, but what you can't see is the enormous colony that lies just beneath the surface. It's like an ant nest under the ground that can house up to 250,000 ants. These ant colonies have dozens of tunnels connecting to many rooms. They have rooms for storing food, dining rooms, rooms for waste, rooms for eggs, and even a nursery room where they keep the babies until they grow up to become worker ants. And get this, when an ant dies, the other ants take it outside so infection and disease doesn't affect the colony. They even have ant funerals and they mourn for their dead for days before burying them. Now do you know why they're such amazing creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So, so how does Allah mention these amazing ants in the Quran? In, in Surah al naml Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the story of Prophet Sulaiman. He was a prophet who understood and could communicate with all the animals. So in one scene, Prophet Sulaiman was marching with his army on their way to fight an enemy. Suddenly, Prophet Sulaiman heard a voice from below. He heard a female ant warning her colony to take shelter in their homes so that Sulaiman and his army would not shatter them by mistake. This ant was able to sense danger and communicate with the rest of the ants and provide them with a solution. La ilaha illallah, how amazing Allah's creatures are. So, when Prophet Sulaiman heard this warning, he stopped his army immediately to keep from hurting the ants. So, a very important war was put on hold just to allow the ants to move to safety. A beautiful lesson about kindness to animals. 
Prophet Suleiman then smiled and he thanked Allah for this amazing miracle he had been given, the miracle to understand the animals around him. A beautiful lesson about being grateful for what Allah has given us. Now these ayat, which were revealed 1400 years ago, teach us a few things about ants that had not been discovered until recently. In 2009, scientists who were studying butterflies accidentally discovered that ants do have a language of their own. They realized that they don't just communicate using chemical trails, but they actually speak to each other in a sophisticated language. That's exactly what the ayah mentioned. Today we know that the leader of every ant colony is a female. The queen ant is the leader responsible for protecting her colony. Just as the ayah mentioned, the female ant was the one calling out for her colony to save themselves from Suleiman and his army. These can only be the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody could have known the gender of the insects 1400 years ago, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew. As we can see, when we study the Qur'an closely, we can find many lessons and miracles in even the smallest details. So let's keep learning those lessons together. The next time I see you, inshallah, we're going to be talking about the spider in the Qur'an. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon, inshallah. May all your pathways be pure. Assalamu alaikum.